Hello there! What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is your teacher, Teacher Daryl Del Mundo. So today, I will teach you how to make an ISIM or what we call Interactive Strategic Instructional Material. Okay, stay tuned and watch this, okay? So, hello there everyone. This is your teacher, Teacher Daryl Del Mundo. So today, I will show you my sample of ISIM, my Interactive Strategic Instructional Material. So, this iSIM was made last two years ago. So, this is my first and ever iSIM and I love it so much and uh, we are blessed and uh, we are uh, lucky enough to be one of the winners and we get the first place in this iSIM. So, I will show you how animations, actions, and applications can be put in to this type of learning materials and it's so good because ISIM is an offline okay so you can send it to your students you can send it to your co-teachers without even uh, like uh, with the use of internet you can uh, use these learning materials whenever and wherever you go so in your cell phones all of the, uh, the applications and actions and uh, animations will not be available i think so but in your laptops or on your desktops it will be okay so let's start are you ready okay so let's start with animation so uh, this uh type of game or learning material is i called it regent okay regent meaning to say regent or where you're going to look for the pictures that has radioactive materials and radioactive food so uh, this is a combination of actually two or more animations and triggers okay so it's like you are looking for things like a word hunt okay but this time these are images okay so television as you can see it go to its respective area so when you find the different food and material, you'll go to its respective area, something like that. And at the same time, uh, the name at the bottom is being crossed out. Okay, so this one, look at this. Okay, when you find this one, then the flashlight crossed out. Okay, that's also a trigger. Okay, animation, another animation, and another trigger. So let's find the radio. Okay, it's like uh, you are making a gamified uh, PowerPoint presentation, but at, at the same time, it's very interactive to the students because they are the ones who will look for and find for these different kinds of materials. Okay, so if you are a game lover, if you want to go to Quantum or World of Fun, this is a nice and a fun way to present our topic to our students. Okay, so this is the first one, the different combinations of animations triggers in doing our ISIM okay next we have what we call actions so in the actions part it's like it's looking uh, it's with link and hyperlink something like that I call this amazing regions amazing race something like that but with a twist so you see those white bars or white walls you are not allowed to bump into those white walls why because you will oops, you need to try again okay so let's go back over there so as you can see this is our cursor so your cursor will be your character so this is the starting point and you need to be careful this is uh, very crucial because if you do not have a Bluetooth mouse and you only have uh, your pad, something like that, your laptop, it's very hard. So with a twist, you need to collect those material. So uh, your student will not become boring when it comes to this kind of game. It will not, oh, it's very easy. I can just, uh, you know, uh, I can just avoid the white walls. Uh, but this time, they're going to collect something, okay? So, as you are collecting those different radioactive materials and foods, uh, you will also learn that uh, you will see the students will become more motivated 
and when you go to the finish line this time this part is link okay i used link here so actions animations and link okay so when we click this one then there you go congratulations okay. so uh, this is the third part the application so the visual basic applications this is kind of difficult and very crucial so we need to become uh, more attentive as much as possible so i have here options button and this part these are the options button see there there's a circle over there so just click it and then choose which option and then these are the check boxes check box check box check box and this is also a text box okay, there you go so this is uh, simply kind of they're going to look at the picture and then uh, observe if there's a heat transfer so since the boxes are filled in with checks so we're going to remove it so there's a prompt that says you're wrong so meaning to say maybe you can observe it again something like that okay this one so we're going to uncheck it uncheck it and then uncheck it and check it so basically when we observe or after the student's observation in the picture we are able to answer for example sun so there's a prompt that we say correct that is a visual basic application in the codes okay then this one also grill okay correct melting ice cream that's correct body temperature that's correct now if they answer for example stars wrong there are no stars in the picture there's a prompt there that says oh so this the student will be able to know oh oh that's incorrect so uh, meaning to say next time i will be careful in, in answering my or in answering the questions then wrong there's no moon see and then if you click this one again oh maybe you change your mind or wrong maybe you can try it again oh that's correct okay so that's for check boxes and in the option box uh same as that one so you're going to choose which is which so if you're going to rate it oh that's easy for me then there's a prompt also that's also coded good and when it's hard because uh, you are kind of confused try it again okay those are the options button okay this is what they look like and then when you insert a text box this is what a text box look like a text box is when you already presented your presentation or your powerpoint uh, you can simply type whatever you want so since this is a score you can write it there or type there three you can type in there four okay it's easy right so we have here visual basic applications controls like text box check box and options button okay okay so uh, if you have any questions about making isim so you can be creative as much as possible and uh, that's the end and if I can show you, let's start with this one. Let's go to animation. Let's go to animation. See? When we go to animation, you will just see there the different motion paths. And then let's open the animation pane. Okay? So there you go. See, there's an entrance there and then motion path and then we have entrance okay so that's it only those two combinations of animations and then we go here there you go there's a trigger okay a motion path again something like that and these are all triggered okay this this there you go those are three so uh, 
this uh, collapse button or collapse uh, animation is when you push this button okay all of those rectangular shapes will you know will open and then this one okay it's, it. it's not in animation lane so if you want to see the visual basic application just double click the button for example this one checkbox so you can see there okay if moon value then message back wrong there's no moon okay then this is for sorry this is for the checkbox okay checkbox and this one is for the option button there you go you will see there the name of the control option button okay this one is also for checkbox this one also for checkbox okay so this is now an example of a logical one because if sun that value is equal to negative one then message box correct else message box wrong and if and sub okay so that is where you're going to see the visual basic application it's another window okay so we can go back to the powerpoint presentation over here there you go i hope you learned something about this one and